Okay, we're going to do um, our J close exercise today, which is basically a gap fill exercise or fill in the blanks. So we choose J close. When it pops up, we we're basically presented with an empty page where you have to fill in your paragraphs of text. Hopefully we have a couple of paragraphs already typed in here for us. We'll give our task a, a title, so we'll call it gap fill exercise. What you have to do now, you have a choice. You can either get it to automatically select words to be the gap words, or you can choose them yourself, and it's quite simple. You highlight the word you want to be the gap, and select gap. It then says, okay, do you want to give them a clue? So let's say a um, place where you look at pictures, and then we type in alternatives. So maybe if you think they might type in gallery instead of galleries, different varieties of what you might have, or alternative words altogether that you're prepared to accept. You choose OK, and it highlights for you which words you've already selected. Um, we'll do headers, we'll do a gap, headers, so um, space at the top of documents, and header without the S on the end possibly, and we'll do OK. And we'll maybe just choose one more word that we can use, so styles, gap, so clue for styles is different uh, layouts, formats, and then we can maybe have style, we'll put it in capitals as well, and we'll choose OK. The next thing you have to do is save your file, so we'll save it. And we're going to, again, as always with Hot Potatoes, put it in its own folder. I've got one created here called Gap Fill. I'll give it a name. So, um, Gap Fill Master. And we'll save that. And then we want to do a, a save as a web page. And this is the page that the students would actually see. That's a little blue button that looks like a web. And Again, it's assumed a name for you, but actually you don't want to call this one master, you want to call this one Gaps, Gap Hill Student. This is the student version in the same folder, so it's all in the same location. And then it's ready for you to view that finished product. So let's view this in the browser. We'll just make the browser a little bit smaller so that you can see that. And what you've got here then is your exercise with some gaps. We also have the clue buttons, which we can click. So a place where you look at pictures gives you a clue for this word. So put in galleries and then we'll go on to the next one and you can fill it in so on do header and then we'll do styles and when you're done you want to check your answers and it tells you what your score is okay so I didn't get 100% there because the answer there was actually headers with an S and I haven't put the S in so click OK so that's how you create a gap fill exercise in hot potatoes